O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. This day at thy creating word, first o'er the earth a light was poured, O oh Lord, this day apart a shine, and fill our souls with light divine. This day the Lord for sinners slain, in might victorious rose again, O Jesu, may we raised be from death of sin to life in thee. This day the Holy Spirit came with fiery tongues of cloven flame. O Spirit, fill our hearts this day with grace to hear and grace to pray. O day of light and life and grace, from earthly toil a resting place, the hallowed house best gift of love, give we again to God above. All praise to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to Thee, whom with the Spirit we adore forever and forevermore. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, was not sworn so as to deceive his neighbour. He shall receive blessings from the Lord, and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your hands, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? 
He the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. You shall climb the mountain of the Lord. You shall stand in His holy place. All peoples, bless our God who gave life to our souls. Hallelujah. Cried with joy to God all the earth, O sing to the glory of his name, O rend him glorious praise, say to God how tremendous your deeds, because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies cringe before you. Before you all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous his deeds among men. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shod. Let our joy then be in him. He rules forever by his mind. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let rebels not rise against him. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound. Of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried as our silver is tried. You led us, God, into the stair. You laid a heavy burden on our backs. You led men right over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But then you brought us relief. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. All peoples bless our God, who gave life to our souls. Alleluia. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. Alleluia. And offering I bring to your house, to you I will pay my vows. The vows which my lips have uttered, which my mouth spoke in my distress. I will offer burnt offerings of fatlings, with the smoke of burning rams. I will offer bullocks and goats. Come and hear all of your God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud. With high praise ready in my tongue. If there had been evil in my heart. The Lord would not have listened, but truly God has listened. He has heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, 
you praise for every man. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. Alleluia. The word of God is something alive and active. It cuts more finely than any double-edged sword. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans, on the bank of the river Chabar. There the hand of the Lord came on me. I looked. A stormy wind blew from the north, a great cloud with light around it, a fire from which flashes of lightning darted, and in the centre a sheen, like bronze, at the heart of the fire. At the centre I saw what seemed four animals. They looked like this. They were of human form. Each had four faces, each had four wings. Their legs were straight. They had hooves like oxen, glittering like polished brass. Human hands showed under their wings. The faces of all four were turned to the four quarters. Their wings touched each other. They did not turn as they moved. Each one went straight forward. As to what they looked like, they had human faces, and all four had a lion's face to the right, and all four had a bull's face to the left and all four had an eagle's face. Their wings were spread upwards. Each had two wings that touched, and two wings that covered his body. And they all went straight forward. They went where the Spirit urged them. They did not turn as they moved. Between these animals something could be seen like flaming brands or torches, darting between the animals. The fire flashed light, and lightning streaked from the fire, and the creatures ran to and fro like thunderbolts. Over the heads of the animals a sort of vault, gleaming like crystal, arched above their heads. Under this vault their wings stretched out to one another, and each had two covering his body. I heard the noise of their wings as they moved. It sounded like rushing water like the voice of Shaddai, a noise like a storm, like the noise of a camp. When they halted, they folded their wings, and there was a noise. Above the vault, over their heads, was something that looked like a sapphire. It was shaped like a throne, and high up on this throne was a being that looked like a man. I saw him shine like bronze, and close to and all around him, from what seemed his loins upwards, was what looked like fire. And from what seemed his loins downwards, I saw what looked like fire, and a light all round, like a bow in the clouds on rainy days. That is how the surrounding light appeared. It was something that looked like the glory of the Lord. I saw something shaped like a throne, and high on this throne was a being that looked like a man, and I heard a tumultuous shouting. Blessed be the glory of the Lord in his dwelling place. To him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might forever and ever. Blessed be the glory of the Lord in his dwelling place. The beginning of the Sermon of St. Augustine on the Shepherds. This is not the first time, my dear people, you have learned that all our hope is in Christ and that all real and saving glory for us is in him. For you are part of his flock, the guide and shepherd of Israel. But as there are shepherds who desire to be called shepherds, but refuse to fulfil the office of shepherds, let us recall what is said to them through the prophet. For your part, listen with attention. 
I must listen with fear and trembling. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy even to the shepherds. We have just heard this lesson as it was being read. Hence I have decided to speak to you, good people. He himself will help me to speak the truth if I do not speak just what is my own. For if I speak my own opinions, I shall be a shepherd feeding myself, not my sheep. But if what I say is his, it is he who feeds you, no matter who is speaking. Thus says the Lord God, Ho, shepherds of Israel, who have been feeding yourselves, should not shepherds feed the sheep? That is, shepherds feed not themselves but their sheep. This is the first reason why those shepherds are accused, that they feed themselves, not the sheep. Who are those who feed themselves? Those of whom the Apostle says, all seek their own, not the things of Jesus Christ. The Lord, as he thought fit, and not according to my own merits, appointed me to this position, for which the account to be rendered is fraught with danger. And I exhibit two clearly distinct features. One, that I am a Christian. Two, that I am appointed overseer of others. The fact that I am a Christian is for my benefit. That I am appointed an overseer is for yours. My own good is to be considered in my being a Christian. In my being an overseer, only yours. There are many who, as Christians and not leaders, attain to God. Travelling may be an easier road, and the more speedily, perhaps, the lighter the load they carry. But I, besides being a Christian, and for this having to render an account of my life, am a leader also, and for this shall render to God an account of my ministry. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me repose. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me repose. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as the Lord. Everlasting Father, all the world bows down before you. All the angels sing your praise, the hosts of heaven and all the angelic powers. All the cherubim and seraphim call out to you an unending song. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of angel hosts. The heavens and the earth are filled with your majesty and glory. The glorious band of apostles, the noble company of prophets, the white-robed army who shed their blood for Christ, all sing your praise. And to the ends of the earth, your holy church proclaims her faith in you. Father, whose majesty is boundless, your true and only Son, who is to be adored, the Holy Spirit sent to be our advocate, you Christ are the King of glory, Son of the Eternal Father. When you took our nature to save mankind, you did not shrink from birth in the virgin's womb. You overcame the power of death, opening the Father's kingdom to all who believe in you. Enthroned at God's right hand in the glory of the Father, 
you will come in judgment according to your promise. You redeemed your people by your precious blood. Come, we implore you to our aid. Grant us with the saints a place in eternal glory. Let us pray. Look upon us, Lord, Creator and Ruler of the whole world. Give us grace to serve you with all our heart, that we may come to know the power of your forgiveness and love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.